All right, guys, let me tell you a story. I absolutely stink at painting portraits. So for two weeks now, I have been working on this Scotty Pippen portrait on this pair of Chicago Bulls 90s Jersey theme edition Jordan 1s. And I was really excited to do this piece. Last year, I spent an entire month practicing painting portraits every single day. It was a really awesome journey. I ended up doing this really cool Kobe portrait at the end on a pair of Jordan 1s. Was really pleased with all the progress that I made, but it was a very, very challenging and humbling experience putting myself through that. And then later in the year, I had done this uh, Patrick Mahomes portrait, and I was, I was essentially flying high off of doing these two. I thought that, okay, I'm starting to get a little bit better at painting portraits, so I was really excited to do these. And that Kobe piece probably took me somewhere around 50 to 60 hours if I had to guess. And then the Mahomes portrait probably took me somewhere around 30 to 40 hours. And those are the two portraits that I've done in my career that I would consider pretty darn good. I had obviously done some stuff in the past of other portrait styles and whatnot, but nothing anywhere near on those levels. So when I got commissioned to do this Scotty Pippen pair, I was super excited. I knew it was gonna take me a long time, but I thought after doing a couple of them, after putting myself through that experience last year, I was ready to do these. And this right here was an incredibly humbling experience. I worked on this Pippen portrait for at least 10 to 12 hours a day for the past 11 days. That's why we're a little late this week getting out a video. What's really funny about this, when I started this the previous Monday, I told Jason, hey, I'll be ready to wrap these up. I'll be ready to shoot our content for these on Thursday, three days later. I thought that this portrait was probably gonna take me somewhere around 40 hours or so, so I'd be able to bang it out in the next three, three and a half days or something like that. And I know as we got closer, I started telling Jason, there's no way I'm gonna be done with these. The first thing that I did was our little portrait stencil guide where I'm able to grab some of the key points for the character. And the first thing that I did was the iconic Bulls jersey. Everything started off really good. I thought I was able to capture some of that breathable mesh, all the classic stripes on those Bulls jerseys. Those are some of the coolest jerseys of all time. And then when I moved on to the arms, that was the first big challenge. The reason is Scottie Pippen is so damn jacked. This guy is so, he has so much musculature that it's really hard to capture that, all of that definition. And then when you're working with indoor arena photos from an NBA stadium, there's so much direct lighting that these players are, all of their sweat, all of these highlights on their muscles and whatnot, it's really hard to capture. So that presented a lot of challenges. And then something else that I really, really had a hard time dealing with was that red jersey ended up casting a lot of red onto his arm. So if you take a look at the reference photo near his biceps, there's a lot of red cast onto his skin tone from that jersey and that presented a huge challenge for me. Also, quick little side note, here's all of the paint palettes that I used on this project alone. I mean, it was crazy trying to capture all of the different shades. And like I said, that red that was cast from his jersey onto his arms really was my biggest challenge here, I would probably say, because I ended up reworking the arms on like three separate times that I would think that I'm finally done with the arm and then I'd be like, okay, this looks absolutely nothing like the reference photo. I was seemingly taking just what I would use as my main skin tone color, create lighter and darker shades, shadows and highlights, and then place that throughout. But I wasn't capturing that red cast onto his arm. So it was almost like when I would look at it, I was almost like, Dylan, you're being lazy. You're not capturing the photo up to what it should be and what I know I could do ideally. But then once I would create a, a, a skin tone that had more red into it, then it was hard to make the areas blend together and whatnot. So this pair, this reference photo, more than you know, maybe like the Kobe pair that I did previously or the Mahomes pair really presented that challenge because now I had to line up way more skin tones seemingly of taking my main skin tone color, but then having even more iterations with this these areas on his biceps where there's all this red cast onto it. After I was finally able to get through the arms and move on to the neck and face, that's where I think things started to get a little bit better for me as I was able to move away from that red cast onto his arms. There's not as much red cast onto his neck 
or his face. Also, another little thing that I did here was I created this black and white image. And this image is essentially just made up of the different thresholds of the reference photo. And sometimes breaking things down in black and white really helps you start to see where your darkest points are next to the slightly lighter shade and so on. Sometimes when you're looking in color, color can play tricks on you and you're not fully able to see, okay, I see these two colors next to each other, but I'm not sure where the dark point kind of ends and moves on transitions into the next point. So this is something that you might wanna play with. This is just done uh, by using the threshold tool in Photoshop and grabbing uh, a few different levels and then just changing the different colors to have, okay, this is gonna be pure black, this one's gonna be a real dark gray, move on to a light gray, up to white, just so you can start to see all the different uh, lights and darks next to each other. I think that after completing these, I definitely had a realization that portraits are something you need to do very often to keep that sword nice and sharp. I hadn't done one since, you know, at this kind of level since the Mahomes pair, and I think that was probably back in August. So it's been quite a while. It's been quite a few months since I've done one, and these are something that I, I need to do more often. I need to do every other month or so, and I wanna try to get faster at these. I thought that these would probably take me, like I said, somewhere around 30 hours, and it took me three to four times longer, so I'm still not fast at them. I'm ultimately, of course, pleased with the end result, but I definitely wanna be able to bang these out a little bit quicker. This was another incredibly humbling experience. These definitely overtook my world for the past 11 days. And these were essentially all I could think about trying to complete these and trying to really capture that reference photo onto a pair of shoes, which was a huge challenge. And I just want this to be a, a, a lesson that d you don't have to settle keep going no matter how hard things get no matter how much you're kind of doubting yourself no matter how much you think i can't do this no matter how much you may think that maybe i should just try to rework the design maybe i should try to do something else maybe i bit off more than i could chew just go ahead and keep pushing through it you can do it it's okay to to mess up and sometimes have to take two steps backwards and then try to take three steps forward but sometimes you gotta go ahead and rework things you gotta do them again even though you might have done them but to get them up to par to where you want them to be to to where you know you can get sometimes you gotta take those steps and we all go through that but the the point is that you just never give up you keep going you keep pushing through it and at the end of the day, guys, we just wanna to continue to remind you and hopefully continue to push you guys, remind you, inspire you to get out there and just create.